Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of As the Crow Flies Hiking. With me today is Metro from Metro on the Move. What's going on guys? How's it going man? I appreciate you coming on this. All right. Well, I say I appreciate you coming. I actually appreciate you inviting me <laughs> because Metro invited me to the Pine Mountain Trail. I've been here before and had a blast, but it was during the summer and this time it's during the winter. And we're about to hike 23 miles from start to finish, north to south, east to west. I don't really know, but we're gonna have a good time. So let's get started on the Pine Mountain Trail. Thank you guys for joining me. Pine Mountain Trail, let's go, baby! Woo! <laughs> so we're about to get started. I say, well, wait, we are started. We're we're on the trail. <laughs> on the trail. <laughs> so I thought I would just introduce Metro. Metro, kind of tell us a little bit about your channel. Well, uh, I guess I am an outdoor enthusiast in terms of a weekend warrior. Um, I uh, started doing a lot of hikes uh, up on the Appalachian Trail, but what I found was kind of difficult for me at first was just trying to find places to go hiking and so over the course of the past several years I've just been documenting all of my hikes because I want others to get out and get healthy as life is short and you can be missing out on a lot of great things in the, the areas especially in the Atlanta area there's so much to do with the North Georgia mountains uh, I just wanted to share what I know I think that's so cool that uh, he's kind of showing people uh, that area, the, the metro area, because Atlanta and North Georgia, man, they have, it has so much to offer in, in terms of backpacking, right? Yeah, the Chattahoochee River National Recreation Area. I would say that my favorite one is the East Palisades or the Indian Trail East Palisades. If you haven't checked that out, definitely look for that trail. Well, thanks, Metro. Appreciate it. We'll keep moving and we're going to head to Sparks Creek, right? Is yes, that where we're going? Night one is Sparks Creek. Let's grab And we've got some special guests tonight. Yeah. If you know the Pine Mountain Trail, FDR State Park, there is usually somebody who's here, and so I'm happy to uh, be able to camp with them tonight. So I'll introduce them when we get to camp. On the ride over here, two and a half hours, I usually get in loops of music. I've just, it, it, I don't know what it is. It's something in my brain, like I have to listen to a certain band the whole way on a trip. So I got stuck in this Led Zeppelin loop. And then I listened to Ramble On like 15 times. Oh, that's probably an over exaggeration. But it reminds me of being out here. Leaves are falling all around. Thanks, I'll be on my way. Thanks to you, how much obliged. Such a pleasant day. Okay, that's awful. Never mind. Anyway, Ramble On by Led Zeppelin, one of the greatest songs ever. Maybe I'll sing it better some other day. Probably not. Ramble On! Ramble On! Sing my song! This is a good place you can bust your butt. FYI, almost did. You know in all of my videos, I always say, here's what I forgot on this trip. And I was thinking, I did great this time. I didn't forget anything. I almost said nothing, that's Alabama English. But I didn't forget anything. 
And then I remembered I left Hiker Smurf in the truck. So Hiker Smurf will be in none of these videos. I'm sure he will be upset with me, but you know, he should have said something. I would have got him out of the truck, but you know, that's on him. We just finished the, the I, I call it the bottom portion where there, all the waterfalls are. And then you start hiking up a hill and then there's no more waterfalls, uh, but it was beautiful. So we climbed up this hill. We're gonna take a break for just a second and then keep moving toward the guest for this evening. You probably already know who it is. It's Senior Hiker 77, Mike P and atypical hiker, Kevin. It is gonna be an honor to get to see them again tonight. So look forward to it guys. I'll see y'all tonight at the campsite. I thought something was interesting. We just uh, came across this family and they were hiking. They were doing this loop about six and a half miles or seven miles. And so the, the dad and the, the mom had this great idea. They, they had a scavenger hunt for the kids. They had three kids. They all had little notepads and so they were told to find certain things and when they found them they could check them off the list so it makes the time go faster for the kids and i thought that was a great idea to get kids out in the outdoors and give them a task and it kind of creates a special bond with the parents that that was really neat and so we, we asked them what they had to find next and they said a fish and i told the kid i said i just saw one walking down the trail but i don't think he's going to make it too long and he looked at me like oh no All right, we made it. The uh, Sparks Creek campsite for tonight. Down below is atypical hiker, Kevin, and senior hiker 77, and Mike P. It will be a fun evening of telling lies and stories. All right, let's get to camp set up and we'll uh, settle in for the evening. What's up? <laughs> Senior hiker, good to see you, my friend. Hey. Oh, it's so good to see you. Yeah. How you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> we made it to camp and we're all set up. Let me show you around. We're at the Sparks Creek campsite. There is a uh, Metro on the move. He's got a big Agnes uh, Fly Creek one. A typical hiker. Kevin's got the Lanshan Red Edition. Two. Lanshan two. And then Mike P has got the, what's up Mike P? Rainbow. You got the tarp tent. Rainbow. Rainbow one or two? No, it's one. two. One. Yeah. I'm using this for winter time. I got double rainbow for summertime. So we're all set up and we're about to get a campfire started and start dinner and things like that. Maybe just hang out, talk for a while. This is this, yeah, is, this is one of my favorite ones here. In fact, the chicken, chicken gumbo. gumbo. Yeah, yeah, I like it's I good. Like gumbo. And then this is the chicken pho, which is a little bit unique. I've That's never... Vietnamese. Yeah. Well, no. If I'm through hiking, the way we went to Cumberland, I took all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> but overnight, I just bring food from home. And as far as the coffee. Let's do a rundown of what everybody's eating. Fish cake soup. 
fish cake free. soup? Yeah. With the rice, the floor. With rice. Oh, I, I think you had that last time. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Yeah. I like it. Idaho I mean, potatoes. Well, you'll know in the morning if it's not. Bam. Well, it's it's well, evidently, it's sauteed <laughs> spam <laughs> nuggets. Trust technology that it's nice. right. Trailtopia chili mac and beef. I put a cheese stick and some Fritos in it. A little crunchy, cheesy chili mac. That sounds awesome. Huh? Yeah, it sounds really good. good. John, what you got tonight? I got um, La Polky. What? La Polky. What's that mean? It's just ramen noodles. Oh, okay. Made a different way. Fried. Okay. Fried noodles. Fried noodles. It looks like a plate of spaghetti with no sauce on it. I see. And then I put cheese on it. Oh, you put cheese on it. Yes. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, yeah, it is delicious. All right. Well, that's the rundown of the tonight's uh, menu. I think we'll get a fire going here in a little bit. I can't say I'm old because Senior Hiker will get mad at me if I say I'm old. <laughs> but I will be going to bed pretty early probably. No, I'm going to stay, I will stay up late. <laughs> nine stay up o'clock early. is trail midnight is nine o'clock. Trail midnight is nine o'clock. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that sunset. That's nice. Sun's come out. Nice. We'll hit the trees in a minute. Hell bent on being old. I never seen nothing like it. <laughs> He's just getting excited about retirement. Uh, whatever. 51 years old, he's not even a senior citizen. Oh. I got my AARP card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first time I heard you say old crow, it made me, I say, what is wrong with this guy? 50 something years old, calling himself old crow. And then I noticed you did go to just crow. Yes, I am just crow now. Yeah, you just crow. Yeah, old yeah. crow. Old crow hiking show. Yeah, let's, let's put him back to old pool since he wants to be so old. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to y'all later. John just made me sing with some other people. <laughs> Check out his video on the Catadine Be Free. I'll try to put a link in below so that you can see this mess that we did after he coaxed us into singing his video. The blooper will be on the end. Oh, the blooper will be on the end. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting up on the little rock where the, the sign is for the Appalachian Trail. And he looks at me. He goes, what's wrong with you, boy? I said, listen, I just want to warn you guys. There's a bear about a mile up that way. So if you're going that way, you want to be careful. Just keep that in mind. He goes, I ain't scared of no bear. Besides, why don't you just shoot at it? I was like, well, I, I, I don't have a gun. And he goes, well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> we would take canned food. You know, what, you know, what are you? So, you know, we put a fire. And I, I, it was Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Okay. And so I had the bright idea of, well, let me just set the can down <laughs> on the fire, and I'll just heat it like that, and then I'll open it. You know, a little later, it'll, it'll heat in there, oh, kind of like a pressure cooker or something. You, you know? learned your lesson. Funny. It exploded. Oh no! And noodles went everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so old. I learned never cook canned food on fire. <laughs> Unless you've cracked it open. I learned that. It only takes once. It only takes one time. Especially when you wear it. You know, it, it's yeah. like, you know, you're wearing it too. Like, it, you're looking, it's looking good. You're looking good. You, you, looking know, you, good. <laughs> you pretty much won't do that again. Kevin, you cold? Yeah, I put on everything I got. <laughs> what you gonna do tonight? Because you know it's gonna get colder. Yeah. I, hopefully I'll stay warm. Well, it's the end of day one. It's been a nice little journey, and we got here and uh, hung out with Senior Hiker 77, Mike P, and Atypical Hiker Kevin. So it looks like we will be heading into bed pretty soon. Not because I'm old, but because <laughs> it's been a fun day. Uh, we'll catch y'all in the morning as we start the second day of hiking. We've probably got about 10 miles or so to the next campsite and uh, that will be at something called turtle holler hollow turtle hollow hollow not holler that sounds southern that sounds alabama turtle hollow turtle hollow <laughs> turtle hollow we'll see you guys in the morning oh. ooh, ooh. there's gonna be a whippoorwill somewhere in here yeah that, i was gonna say that's your deal it ain't here though is it <laughs> i hadn't heard one yet <laughs>